An influential group of engineers says elevated light rail should be given the green light at the expense of new trams. But a new SkyRail system through city streets and suburbs won't receive government funding to get it off the ground. It's high-speed travel which looks space-age but is quite simple. Battery-powered driverless trains are supported on twin elevated tracks five metres high. Unlike monorail systems, Skyway is fast with speeds of 100 kilometres an hour and is cheaper than conventional rail. Former transport guru Rod Hook is leading the charge. Keep it slender, uh, keep it slim uh, so that it looks attractive. Trials are planned for a half kilometre stretch at Flinders University. Civil contractors say the engineering concept is a no-brainer. They want future tram funding diverted into this new technology so we can take the lead. A much more cost-effective and efficient way of moving people. But with Bill Shorten promising half a billion dollars for new trams, the state government sees elevated rail as pie in the sky. We certainly don't plan to be investing in this technology yet. We would wait to see uh, whether it's uh, proven up. But do ordinary commuters see this as progress or a blight on the landscape? I think it's quite nice. It would be a nice new thing for Adelaide. Not in a, uh, worrying the other traffic. Mike Smithson, 7 News.